Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about this portable blender called the Tornado. Now, I'm usually not a big fan of gadgets, especially battery-operated gadgets, utilizing in the field, so on and so forth, but uh, let me tell you the reason why I ended up picking this up. Uh, generally, I consume protein shakes uh, throughout the day. Just makes life easier whether I'm out in the field, whether I'm in my dojo. It doesn't tax my digestive system. It's super easy to uh, consume and prepare and uh, gets me going throughout my day. But the one issue that I have is I usually stick to a shaker. Now I had been using a standard cocktail shaker for years for my shakes because of course it's convenient. It's something that most of us have uh, somewhere in our kitchen and I uh, just kind of got used to it. But the one thing that does happen with these shaker type cups is that the protein powder does clump up and uh, might not be a big deal for consuming so on and so forth but a lot of it still gets left in the shaker or in the container that i'm utilizing to uh, drink it with and that equates to waste and i don't know if you've shopped uh, protein powder lately but the stuff ain't cheap so of course i uh, heard about this tornado wanted to investigate it a little bit further and uh, let me share some of the uh, specs and some of the findings on this uh, tornado with you First impressions on the tornado first of all i thought it was going to be some flimsy piece of crap when i took it out of the box to be honest with you and it's actually good to go uh, it's built pretty well definitely take a pounding whether it's in the field whether it's in your pack now as far as the lid here you can actually open it up stick a straw on there consume right from here or you can go ahead and just unscrew it and be able to uh, access the contents that way uh, once it is sealed it is pretty good to go i didn't get it to spill at all in my pack now, in order to uh, operate the Tornado, you do need two AAA batteries, and they actually get inserted into the base. And here on the bottom is the actual start button. So if you were just to press it, it'll pulse, but if you hold it down for a couple seconds, it'll actually uh, activate and spin on its own. Now, once again, it's actually spinning much faster. Reminds me of the uh, the rotors on a helicopter. When you look at them, they almost look like they're standing still when they're in full force. But uh, trust me on this, it's actually going pretty damn quick. Now, also keep in mind that there are two models on this. One of them have a removable base, and the other one, which is this one, is actually fixed. So you have your choice of uh, which model actually works best for you. Now, the mechanism on the inside, the actual stir, or blender, or whatever you would want to call it, the thing that's actually spinning right now in front of you, it's made of uh, plastic and what I thought pretty flimsy plastic. And the manufacturer actually claimed that this would be able to blend a couple eggs in here, uh, whether you were making an omelet, whether you were scrambling them up. Now, uh, most of you know, I do spend a lot of time in the field and that kind of intrigued me. I was just like, hmm, I could just kind of uh, bust out my canteen cup, little solo stove, throw it in there and uh, consume a couple eggs while on a trail pretty quickly uh, without bringing a bunch of extra gear out there. So of course I had to put it through the test thinking the whole time that this was not going to work too well but as you could tell by the actual results it worked uh, so pretty good to go on that end uh, the uh, manufacturer was correct now as far as cleaning options uh, relatively simple uh, from what you saw it doesn't really leave much residue so uh, rinsing it out especially in the field uh, nice and easy put it back in my pack hopefully uh, the critters stay away because there's a little residue that would be left in here so just little things that we need to consider of course while we're out in the field uh, if you are at home, a little dab of uh, detergent is what the uh, dish detergent is what the uh, manufacturer uh, claims would do the job. So put that in there, put some water, go ahead and start it up and uh, let it pretty much self clean for you. So bottom line, uh, this blender isn't going to bl blend any uh, solid foods, anything like that, but that's not what it's designed for. But what it is designed for and primarily with these protein type shakes, it does do an excellent job. So whether you're out in the field, whether you're in the gym, uh, your office, especially if you're not consuming your shake all at once and you're going to let it settle and it kind of starts to congeal a little bit, you can go ahead, pulse it right back up. A few seconds later, you're good to go, able to consume it. No clumps and at the same time, no wasting money. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.